Okay, we're with Calvin Whiting on your right and Malcolm May on your left uh, mm -hmm. from the High School All-Americans. And uh, guys, you're in Argentina. You just played Argentina under 18s. It was, I believe, 35-13 in favor of Argentina. And uh, Calvin, we'll start with you. Uh, you started off well, and in fact, it was only 14-13 uh, up to about half time. So, what was going right at that point? Uh, I would have to say the boys did a good job of maintaining possession a lot of the time, and also possession on the field as well. We kept the ball in their half a lot of the time, and from there, it was all just hard work, competitive at the rucks and aggressive at the rucks and also set pieces were good, we were getting good go forward on set pieces and our defensive lineup was also very good, we made major improvements on our defensive lineup so I guess that's what contributed to it. Malcolm, what was the battle like in the forwards with these guys? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry, what, what was the battle like in the forwards? What was it? What was it like battling with the the Argentina players and and dealing with the breakdown? Well, last year uh, they absolutely destroyed us in the mall. So in practice, we made sure we practiced, and uh, we were able to get a lot of sacks and uh, drop them back. But all the forwards were really aggressive and really gave them a battle, especially in the lineups. Okay, so that's all going great. Fourteen, thirteen. So what happened in the second half, where uh, it was. Um, you know, they scored, I think, three tries and, and pulled away a little bit. I think uh, once we started getting a we got two yellow cards, and uh, once we started subbing, we lost a little bit of uh, the continuity that we had in the first half. And I don't think we were able to recover from that in the, at the very end. So a little bit of extra work having to, to make up for being a man down and, uh, and, and just having to, to take care of that. Yeah, right. I think that one it made us more tired because we had less to defend with, and then I just think we weren't able to come back to form after that. All right, good. Now, a lot of people saw the score of the the warm up game uh, against Cordoba Academy. Um, tell tell me why that was or was not representative of what what you we're going to see from you guys going forward. Well, I think with the Cordova game, it's obviously our first game, you know, so we're not really, we only had a few practices going into it, and so we weren't sure of like the, the strongest lineup or the best mixes to put in and stuff like that. So the Cordova game was more of like a test run to see which options would work because you ran three periods of 25 minutes with different combinations, and so I think that was a good eye opener for us. And, who to play where and stuff like that. All right, good. Now, what are the coaches saying about the upcoming games against Uruguay and Italy? Uh, uh, they, you expect pretty much the same same level of competition? Uh, especially in the pack, we expect we expect teams like this to maul. So um, we expect not exactly the same thing, but we we expect pretty much the same thing. Coach. Coach Engelbrecht said that he'd been watching some film and he said they're very dangerous with open space so if our kick chase has to be on point and stuff like that otherwise they are very good at utilizing the space and I'm not too sure about Uruguay but we'll get to that further when it comes. Right, now the other part of it is team unity and building something among the, the group there. What do you, Do you guys do anything special whether it's sort of uh, just you know games or something you play or, or, or how you, how do you become a team as opposed to a, just a group of individuals on a trip I mean we've been spending a lot of time together there's a lot of returners and pretty much everyone knows each other so we've been able to since we've been here excellent excellent good and uh, I mean among yourselves, what do you what do you talk about? How, how do you address uh, the rugby aspect of it? Uh, are, are, do you try to sort of take a break from rugby when you're off the field, or you're you're talking about rugby and your approach to the game? Um, how, how do you handle that? Normally, I think once we're done with rugby, we try to switch off from it because it is so much, 
And so a lot of the times you end up just messing around with everyone and just trying to have a good time and trying to be positive about it and stuff, even though we are mentally breaking down bit by bit every day, you know. So I think, I think we do tend to almost switch off when we are at the hotel because it's always rugby demanding. And so, yeah. So who's the big goofball on the team? <laughs> there's, yeah, a few, there's a few. Uh, Sione, Junior. Who else? CC. CC. There's a few of them. There's several of them. Okay, who's the funniest? Oh, jeez. They all have their own different personalities. All right, good. And, uh, um, you know, what, what's the philosophy around rooming with players? Do, do the coaches mix everybody up, like forge with backs? Do they switch up roommates, or do you sort of set with a, a set roommate for the trip? Well, I think it's different right now. I mean, the first hotel, I think they went just by last names. Yeah. But... Now they've mixed it up. I mean, I'm in a room with Liam Jimmins, who's a lock, and then Sim Mander, who's a wing, and Malcolm's also with... I'm with the CIA and uh, Mitch Wilson. Good. So it's different now, so it's, I think it's good. But we all tend to just get in, in, into each other's rooms anyway, so... Okay. All right, one final question for you guys. I've actually seen a lot of pictures of... Uh, uh, posters and everything about this tournament um, it's, it's become instead of just a tour where you have a few countries happen to be in the same place at the same time they've made it into a tournament uh, a four nations tournament they've got their own Facebook page stuff like that what what does that feel like is that does that ramp it up a little bit for you does that make it feel more important more welcomed um, I think it it gives, this tournament seems a lot more put together than last year. I feel like we're, we're actually playing for something. As last year, we were just playing to get better. This year, I feel like we're playing to, to beat these teams. Excellent. All right. Malcolm May, Calvin Whiting, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You bet.